Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully able to edit our profile, right? So now, right now, we successfully saved this data in our database. I want to do, I want to visible it in here. Okay, so if you want to visible it, also I want to do, I want to put on the condition. Like if you go to your exercise folder, into this exercise folder, I have already shared on the image as a no image.jpg. I simply copy it. And now I want to do in our um, upload folder, okay, into this upload folder here, I want to do and to paste it. I want to put one of the condition. If there have any images in our database, then that will be display our database image, rather than that will be display our no image. Okay, so if you want to do this work, uh, like that is in our admin profile page, right, into this admin profile page before I use one of the static image, now that is actually visible. Right now that is visible in here. So now I want to do to update. So if you want to update that is in our SRC. So right now better I close remove it. So that is our SRC. Okay. So into this SRC area here I want to put one of the condition. Our first condition will be when that will be as a not empty. Okay. MPTY. So that when that will be as a not empty. Not empty in our which place? Not empty will be in our database. So if you want to access the database in our admin profile. If you go to our admin controller into this admin profile here you can say i have already get which user is logging which user is logging all well, that our id specific data i take the things with our admin data and here now i pass it in our admin profile view page right now we will also able to access our um, profile page by our admin data right so now i want to, to take it before i have already you can see i have already displayed that admin name display that email that username so right now i want to do with our admin data okay so with this admin data i want to access uh, that is our dollar and then admin data with this admin data i want to access our field name our database field name if you go i have already named it as a profile underscore image before we are able to access it username email and the name so now i want to access that our profile image right so now with this admin data i want to access that profile profile underscore image okay friends so if it's not empty that means if our database profile image field that is our database and database user table profile image field is if it's not empty that means they have on already one of the data right they have all of the images if it's not empty then okay then i want to do that there will be a question mark as then then i want to pass our url sorry that was url our url will be which one and i have already uploaded all that our file in our upload folder into this upload folder here i have already created another folder name that means where exactly that will be stored that means when that will be not empty that means here that must be some of the data right so that is the upload folder as admin images so that is our admin images and here i have already uploaded that data so if you want to access it you can access it by our admin that means that is actually our admin data our field name as a profile image right so then i want to do i want to access it our admin data admin data with this admin data i want to access our profile image great and else i want to use that as else else it should be load another one as a url url in our admin that means in our upload folder into this upload folder i have already added one of the another image another image i have loaded as a no image dot jpg then that will be display this one very easy all the things okay that is very easy one of the condition i hope it's very much clear to friend first of all it should be check it is empty or not so if it's not empty it should be checked in our admin profile images with this uh, admin data we can have able to access our user table our field name as a profile image if it's not empty that means there have some of the data that means in our url upload admin images area here i want to access it by our admin data that is our profile image right then that will be actually access our that profile that is actually image and else i simply added that as a else else it will be in our url in our upload folder that is also another image i have uploaded as a no image.jpg then that will be display as no image.jpg great now if you click as a save all now that should be displayed like right now i have already one of the data that means right now that should be display click as a refresh yeah you can see it's now successfully display and also if you want to display your existing data if you go to that our edit profile here if you also want to make it as a dynamic right now you can actually make it dynamics the same condition better i copy that total src 
now in our admin profile edit page and into this edit when um, before you can see i have used that one of the static image right now i want to do and to make it as a dynamic so our procedure will be just like that same when that will be not empty if they have any images then that will be display the images else it should be display as a no image so right now i have already one of the image now that should be display and right now also our variable actually changes here i have already changed it as a edit data right if you go to our admin controller in our edit page i pass that variable name as a edit data in our admin profile edit page now we have to access it by this variable as edit data so here that will be obviously as edit data i simply update it as edit data great so now if you click the save all and if you now go refresh it right now you can see it's now successfully display images great and also if you want to update um that which user is locking this user images you know if you want to update if you want to display that name you can also display it if you want to do that work procedure will be same that is in our header into this header you can see that is on the static name on also there is some of the static image first of all i want to do i want to put that condition that i have already applied in our controller into this controller our procedure will be same here i want to get that our authenticated user id okay simply copy it now in our um, header better i want to add one of the php tag so that is a php blog i want to end this php blog so that that will be our blade syntax php blog and it okay now first of all that will be the same condition i simply take one of the variable as the id and authenticated user id take it with our id and then our another procedure that will be same i copy it and then i want to do and to paste it okay so i simply paste it that is our admin data so in Page. so that is one of the blade page here if you want to access our model you can see if you go to that our controller into this controller we are able to access that user because of all here i have already used it that is in our app model and then user right right now when you access it into the page here you have to app add that your appropriate path so that is in our app models and then the user and our condition will be same it will be find our which user is logging that is our id i take the things with this variable as admin data great now you can it is make it as a dynamic so here i want to do i want to display by our admin data so that will be as a dollar sign right so that will be as a dollar sign and with our admin data i want to access our name okay so name i name it as a name that is our database field name so now that will be display that name and same as our images for the images i want to do i want to add the same condition okay that will be our same condition i have already discussed about that things with you i simply copy it now in our header into the header src here i want to do and to remove our manual one that means a static one here i simply update it so now our variable name as a admin data here with this admin data i want to access that profile and with this admin data i want to access that profile image okay friend now that is totally dynamic our image is totally dynamic and also our name is totally dynamic if you now click as a save all click as a save all and now if you go now that should be also updated now click as a refresh yes you can see our username as a kazi1 is display as a kazi1 and also is display the image if you change that name okay name it as only kazi click as a update so now you can see it's successfully updated as a kazi that is updated as a kazi and also if you want to log in with our another user so right now you log out and i'm logging with our user another one as user and one two three four five six seven eight okay so for that user i name it as a one two three four five six seven eight successfully locked in and now i hope friend it's very much clear now you can see it's now display as a default image because for that user i didn't upload any image if you go to that out user you can see for that user there is a username as a user that have no profile image so when that will be as a no profile image then that will be display as a one of the default image if you go to that our profile you can see it's not display our no image okay so i hope now that is very clear so now that is actually our no image so here i have actually put it that condition in our profile view when that will be not empty it will be display else it will be display our upload folder no image dot jpg so for the reasons it's not display as a no image dot jpg and also if you click as a edit profile here i have already upload update the same things for the reasons it's not display as a no image okay right now i want to do i want to change that okay i want to change it uh, i want to upload another new image 
for that user for that user i want to use um, like as a this one okay i like as a, this one i simply select it it successfully display now if you click as a update profile yes you can see it's update successfully in here and also it's update successfully in here so friend when you edit okay when you update anything if you want to display some of the notification that is a toaster notification how can display some of the toaster notification better in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video